Hi all, coming back with OBG after a long gap. Okay, so today's topic is salpingitis. Salpingitis is coming under your unit 4, okay, gynec. So what is salpingitis? Salpingitis is the infection inflammation of the fallopian tubes. Now you might be thinking, see once we go back to the reproductive system, there are two uh, uh, fallopian tubes, right? Right and the left and which is ending up with the fimbrae and the ovaries. So what happens either at the infection in the one side or in the both side. So epidemiology says that over 1 million females are getting affected every year, okay? Then uh, the highest rate of this infection is in the reproductive age by 16 to 24 years, okay? Moving on to the etiology, the main cause is bacterial infection, okay? It can be gonorrhea, streptococcus, stipalococcus, chlamydial infection, okay? Smoking mothers, overuse of tampons and chemical uh, around the perineal area, okay? Endometrial biopsy, STDs, uh, uh, these are the usually the this etiology can end up in uh, salpingitis okay moving on to pathophysiology see the main infection is bacteria is the origin is in the vagina okay now when i say the pathophysiology remember the structure okay of the reproductive system the vagina the bacteria is present okay once the menstrual flow starts cervix gets open and allows the bacteria to go through the lymph nodes from the urethra uh, not urethra sorry from the uterus to the fallopian tubes okay thus the infection occurs and signs and symptoms occurs okay i hope you understood the pathophysiology i repeat due to the etiological factor the origin of bacteria differs or uh, uh, is present in the the vagina okay once the vagina gets open through the menstrual flow what happens cervix is already dilated or it's open right cervix get opened okay cervix get open and the bacteria is allowed to move to the uh, fallopian tube with the help of lymph vessels okay then moving on to the uh, clinical manifestation clinical manifestation uh, moving to before moving to the clinical manifestation we have to see the types there are two types of salpingitis acute as well as chronic okay so acute uh, is, uh, salpingitis is like it will be there for few weeks okay in acute signs of uh, salpingitis there will be a uh, redness swollen of the fallopian tubes that is the main symptoms of acute okay so what happens like when the redness and swelling occurs there's a uh, See, it's the tube of fallopian tube, right? This is a tube. One side, it will be this much. Other side, it will be this much. Okay. So, this tube, when it gets swollen and adhered, it becomes adhered. Okay. It becomes adhered and it becomes blocked. So, that the ovaries is not able to travel as well as the sperm is not able to meet the ovary. Okay. There will be a blockage of the tube. A chronic uh, salpingitis, which will be mild in the starting, but pain and all will be more in the severe stage and uh, repeated or uh, repeated attack of acute salpingitis leads up in chronic salpingitis okay now cl other clinical manifestations are like abdominal pain vaginal smell order vaginal discharge then pain during ovulation pain during intercourse okay then the ectopic pregnancy Pain during intercourse, I have said, and is it, it is a bacterial infection, so usually there will be a fever, nausea, vomiting, okay, and low back, black, sorry, low back pain, okay. So this was all about the clinical manifestation. Moving on to the diagnostic evaluation, stigulation, physical examination, perineal examination, vaginal examination will be done. Hysterosalpingogram. It is like an x-ray only, a special type of x-ray to visualize, okay, both uterus as well as the fallopian tube. Okay, then laparoscopy will be done in case of any infection and all. Then uh, management, bacterial infection, antibiotic treatments will be given. Example, metronidazole can be given. It will be given through oral, okay. For continuously 14 days okay if it is um, um what a gonorrheal infection and all complications is like infertility uh, like first if it is an acute salpingitis the, the first attempt only 8 to 10 percentage of infertility can occur okay then ovarian abs abscess then infection of the sex partners infection of the ovaries and uterus okay ectopic pregnancy ectopic pregnancy you know that the uh, sperm and ovum is getting 
fertilized okay not in the uterus in the fallopian tube that is known as ectopic pregnancy so i think uh, we have finished with this salpingitis if any doubts please get back to me okay small brush ship salpingitis is the infection inflammation of the fallopian tubes okay either one or the two there are two types acute and chronic okay etiology we can say it might be due to bacterial infection okay then uh, smoking mothers or uh, endometrial biopsy stds okay pathophysiology is like due to etiological factor the main origin is in the vagina menstrual retrograde menstrual flow opens the cervix bacteria enters through lymph vessel to the fallopian tubes okay clinical manifestations we have discussed management antibiotic treatments will be given and symptomatic treatments will be given and the main complication is infertility ectopic pregnancy okay i hope you all understood thank you have a nice day